I had a conversation with my mother when I was last home. And, you know, age brings about a change in your parents' life. And, you know, when I was a little kid, I saw my mom when she was young and vibrant. And then I see her now with the grays in her hair and walking a little bit um, slower, with a slower pace. I see the frailty kicking in. And I thought back to a lot of the things that my parents did for me and how literally I blew it, especially in 2002 where I had a real good opportunity before that in 98, I had an opportunity that if I would do what I was supposed to do, I would have been into my career by the time I actually graduated my first degree. I had it all set up for myself. I'm not going to tell you what I did, but I fucked up big time, fucked up big time and cost my parents some money big time. And then I'm sitting there as I'm looking at all the rest of my friends who went on to dental school and went on to medical school and went on to all these other things and did well and did it before I did it. And I was the last one to even come to Poland. And I had some people kind of laugh at me here and kind of make fun of me here and there. And then I thought about all the opportunities that I blew and how devastated that I've been. And I'm looking at my mother, and, and while I'm glad that I can do things for her and I can, I can help her, I'm not where I should be. And so as a man that you're competitive and you want to do things, you start thinking about all the things that you missed out on and all the people that you let down. But in some amazement, I sat there and I listened to what she said. And she said, well, son, what about all the things that you have achieved? Yeah, you blew some opportunities. Yeah, you messed up. Yeah, you could have did that or this better. But why don't you give yourself at least some credit for what you have tried to do? And where you are right now. And then I thought about what she said. And then I thought about many of you. The African-American man who no matter how good he's doing. And no matter how many adversaries. are, are, Are things he had to overcome or adversaries rather. He sits back and he thinks about all the opportunities that he blew. And he thinks of, I should have been here 15 years ago. I could have been here 20 years ago. And I'm just getting here now. And then this particular brother almost wipes the slate clean of all of the things that he has accomplished. And for at that point in time, it is null and void as if it doesn't matter because your mind starts going back to all previous failures. Sometimes I do it now. I look at high school things I blew, junior college opportunities that I blew, things I blew in college, opportunities that I missed, things that I did to myself that I could have not should have been involved with, people that I should have been involved with. And then I keep going back over failure, 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 over failure. But here's the thing. And when I come back at the end of all of those things, wasting my energy and my mind on these things, you know what happens? I can't change any of it. It's washed away in the sea of time, but yet I've stayed here and I've 
thought about it over and over and over and over and over and over again. I've written about it over and over and over and over and over again. I've put it on my whiteboard over and over and over again, but I failed already. But what I do have control over is the rest of my life. And so here today, I talk to you, uh, the, the black man, whoever else man is listening. When will you at least give yourself some credit for what you have done? You may not think that you have done much. You may not have think that you've achieved a whole lot. Because you want much more for yourself. But you know that somebody has watched your progress, whether you know it or not. Somebody has saw you at a point where they didn't think that you was going to do nothing. For some of y'all, some people are shocked that you still living, let alone got a job. And some of you are doing much better than people gave you credit for. And all people who have seen what you have done, who know what you have been through, but one person that will not give you the credit that you deserve is yourself. Because you spent money on this, you made a bad investment on that. What if you wouldn't have bought this? What if you would have did this with that money? What if you would have did? But the thing about it is that you still have the breath in your body to still at least try something again. And this is where I'm at with this today. Give yourself some credit for your mistakes. Allow yourself to fuck up. Ah, I shouldn't have made that mistake when I'm 35. I should have knew better, but it happened. A lot of times you can forgive other people. People can do you wrong. Can misuse you. They can lie to you. They can do all kinds of things, but you have a hard time forgiving yourself. I know that I have a problem with that right now. Something that I try to deal with and I'm getting better at, but you know what? Give yourself some credit. You know, I got emails from certain people. Uh, some folks were homeless. Um, some people were fired and some people were on their last leg and they got up and got out of it and now they're doing better. But then, you know, they still beating themselves for something they did 20 when they was 21 years old, you know, and, and, Something that you know now, you wish you had known it, but you had to go through it so that you can know it. The game that you have right now, if you were to go back then, which you can't, you can't change the fact, of course you wouldn't make the mistake. But now that you are here at this point, what are you going to do? I see um, a lot of sports players go through this. Uh, Quincy Carter, ex-quarterback of the Dallas Cowboys. Um, I was watching one of his interviews and he had failed a drug test and got cut from the Cowboys and career was never the same, but he seems at peace. Mike Tyson lost like 300 or something million dollars in doing stupid shit. And they are at peace. And these are people that have had way more, you know, uh, career shining light than, than we've ever had. And if they can be okay with it, then why can't we? So I just wanted to kind of put that out there, you know, give your, you know, Stop being so hard on yourself. You know, um, life is a, a machine that it just keeps moving and moving and in the parts you add to it and you add to it and all those things. So I just wanted to kind of drop that out there, you know, for some of the brothers out there that are a little bit too hard on themselves and, you know, kind of just wish things would have worked out whether they've been with your, you know, baby mama or, or whoever else. And that's pretty much all that I had to say for this video. I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel. Thank you for the new subscribers. I know I'm getting a lot of those. I appreciate everybody being there um, and, 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 and subscribing. But I wanted to talk about that uh, because I really, really feel like that this is necessary. So thank you for subscribing. Thank you for being here. Uh, what do you think about the video? Comment below. Let me know what you think. And as you know, the buffoonery remained at an all-time high. I'm out.